For cheap and reliable FIFA coins, go to golda.com. Check out the link in the description. What's up guys, I'm Tomal Absiaber and welcome to a transfer news update video. Tomorrow will be transfer deadline day. Sadly, I won't be able to make a, a breaking transfer news videos for you guys tomorrow because I will be on a skiing trip, but I thought I would do it today to update you guys and let me know what do you think about, for example, that Juan Cuadrado, the Fiorentina winger who had a great World Cup, is in London for his medical. He was seen in the, at the Man City, Chelsea Man City game, and uh, he would cost 26 million for Chelsea. But you know, Chelsea winger Andre Schürrle is going to Bundesliga side Wolfsburg, who agreed personal terms with Schürrle. So the, the transfer is not done yet, but it's very close. And also, uh, Fiorentina coach Montella revealed that Mo Salah. Uh, will join uh, Fiorentina on loan as a replacement for Quadrado. I think that's a great bit of business for Chelsea. I mean, Schürrle is a great player, but he couldn't really get into the Chelsea team. And maybe Quadrado can offer them some something different. I don't. I don't think I would sell Schürrle, to be honest, because every time he played for Chelsea, he was he was very good. Uh, he, almost always uh, scored a goal or gave an assist but let me know guys what do you think about this in the comments below and also Manchester United midfielder Darren Fletcher's move to West Ham has broken down after uh, you know Adeldice wanted him on loan but Van Hal wanted to sell Fletcher also Liverpool transfer news Liverpool are planning a 6.5 million bid for West Ham defender Winston Reid who is out of contract in the summer. Let me know guys what do you think about this. Uh, he's out of favour at West Ham, he's not starting regularly and he's a, he's a pretty decent defender. Um, at the moment our defence is pretty solid but I, I think uh, signing Lovren for 20 million pounds was a big big mistake. It, it doesn't look like a world class centre back by a country mile. So if we could maybe sell Lovren in the summer and bring in Winston Reid, that would be a good good replacement. But uh, I'm, I'm trusting Brandon Rogers on, on this one. Hopefully he will get it right. And, um, and yeah, um, Arsenal and Liverpool have both offered Real Madrid defender Fabio, have been both offered Real Madrid defender Coentrao after Man United dropped their interest. But uh, no, neither club appears to want to sign the Portuguese international. I'm not sure Coentrao is, is very well suited for, to the Premier League, so we have to wait and see what happens on that front. Also, Tottenham reportedly want to go on a big spending spree on, uh, on the transfer deadline day. It's a, a, a bit of a paper talk, so I'm not sure what, whether to believe it or not, but uh, they want to uh, spend £60 million reportedly on uh, Southampton forward uh, Jay Rodriguez and uh, French pair Johan Kabay and uh, Aymeric Laporte who plays for Athletic Bilbao, if I'm not mistaken. I would welcome Kabay, to be honest, at Liverpool. I think he's a great midfielder, he was pretty solid and pretty played pretty well at Newcastle and uh, yeah Edin Dzeko could be heading for Fenerbahce on loan and also Danny Ings is today linked with Manchester City and uh, that's an interesting interesting uh, development and um, yeah any any other transfer news yeah the Sunday Mirror Sunday Mirror reporting that uh, if Man Manchester United want to keep the hell, they might have to make him the highest paid goalkeeper in the world by tying him to a new contract uh, uh, because Real Madrid are sniffing around, they really want uh, really want to get the hell, and I think the hell's head could be turned by Real Madrid because you know the hell is Spanish, Real Madrid are, are one of the best teams in the world, so so I think uh, it could be a similar saga to the Cristiano Ronaldo saga that De Gea maybe promises to play one more season for Man United and then Man United can, uh, can uh, sell him uh, for a big money. And also Man United signed Victor Valdez, maybe, maybe because of this, maybe because they are fearing of De Gea maybe moving on and then we, they could have a, a really good uh, solid goalkeeper and he signed uh, Valdez was a, a free agent, so it didn't cost anything, uh, to be honest. 
for Man United, so a good piece of business for them. Mm, and yeah, uh, Louis van Fanha, the Man United manager, is monitoring Kevin Schroetman's, uh, the Dutch midfielder's recovery from his latest, latest injury. Schroetman has been linked for Man, with Man United for, for like more than a year now, I think. And uh, maybe, maybe he doesn't want to sign him in this transfer window, but definitely in the summer I can see uh, Strootman going to Man United. I mean, Van Hal was the du Netherlands manager, so he knows uh, Strootman more than anyone else. Uh, but he has been uh, struggling with injuries, so uh, I, think, uh, I think Man United are monitoring his development, how he recovers from his injury. So, and also West Brom are leading the race to sign Swansea fullback Neil Taylor. I would be sad to see uh, Taylor go because, you know, I like Swansea, I watch them a lot. They are my second favorite team in the Premier League from Wales, doing Wales proud. So, uh, I don't really want to, uh, them to sell any more players. So, let me know, guys, how does this uh, transfer of Cuadrado going to Chelsea affect the title race? Because, you know, Man City signed Boney. And I think Chelsea felt that they need to sign another player as well to keep, uh, keep up with, uh, with Man City and to keep the title race as interesting as it is. It will be one hell of a second half of the season and the top four race will be closer than ever. Uh, four or five teams are in the mix, so very, very exciting. Uh, let me know what are your thoughts in the comments below and thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. See you later, guys. Goodbye.